Welcome to the channel and to this 2150 point match play game between the Deathwing of the Dark Angels and the Death Guard. Death Guard versus Death Wing. Who can see so the most death in this battle report? 2150 points. Why that number? Because uh, the first of my Death Guard have turned up. The first of my Death Guard warband is here, and it comes to 2147 points. So I want to put all of it on the battle grid. Probably not the most tuned list. It's not the most tuned list. It's what's been painted first. Uh, so that's why I'm bringing it along today, and I'm really looking forward to bringing the end of all things. That's the name of my Death Guard warband, the end of all things. And we are playing Spoils of War. That's the game where you cannot discard a tactical objective that begins with a number. So, um, excuse me, so you generate three cards a turn every turn, and if it, one of your cards is number five, you can't discard number five, but your opponent can score it, for example. So if I've got cards in my hand that my opponents can score, then they can score it, and vice versa. It can't generate, can't reject any one of these. Also, at the end of the game, um, the person who has got most of the secure number X cards gets an additional point at the end. So technically, you could be losing because your opponent's got, I don't know, um, no prisoners, scout the skies, lots of points like that, and you could be a point behind and suddenly draw the game up if you've got more... Uh, more of these points in your hand. So that's it, we're playing uh, Spearhead Deployment. I've got this quarter of the table here and there are three objectives here, one there, one there, one there. Uh, this ruined church is uh, a very pivotal objective, as is the ruined church in the middle. There's one right in the middle of the table of the board there, but yeah, three in my deployment zone because we're playing the quarters and the Death Wing will be deployed on this side of the table and they only have one objective which is up there. And there's another objective here, so two lonely objectives at either side, anchoring this side of the battle grid. This could get quite interesting. The Deathwing particularly don't care whether all the objectives are down in my table quarter, because they're Deathwing, there's lots of Terminators, they could teleport in and smash me to death. So much death. Of course there's First Blood, Slay the Warlord, Line Breaker as well, and a couple more things. This battle mat is brought to you by GameMat.eu, and I like it, it's very nice. Uh, very interesting. It's very easy to set up a battle grid when you've got this footprint and these ruins, these massive ruined Gothic cathedrals. They're also from GameMat.eu. I'll put links somewhere in this video, but uh, it's good. It's it's easy to set up. They come pre-painted. You don't have to worry about it. Just chuck them down and off you go. And joining the battle with me today is Rob. Say hello, Rob. Good day. Good day. Good day. Rob has been on the channel a few times before, a Horus Heresy buff, collector of many, many armies. He's also got a blog spot, 30k plus 40k. He's a scientist at Bristol. He's a really nice guy to talk to. And you are responsible for painting my Death Guard. I am responsible for painting your Death Guard. So um, thank you very much. They were great fun to paint and the cause of uh, much spillage of blood and pus. Not what? mine. I can paint, paint. But they're quite spiky, I imagine. They are quite spiky, yes. So there is spillage spiky of blood. Spiky bits. Spiky bits! <laughs> <laughs> and you've got about half of... I mean, I think this is about half of it so far. There's some more coming. Oh, there's a lot more coming. There's and a, when am I game. getting my Mortarian? Soon. <laughs> He's big. He's big and spiky. He's a great model, that Mortarian model. I stuck him together. And all right, he's a, all the credit. Yeah. No, I stuck him together because I wanted to stick him together. He's a pleasure to put together. He's a big boy, is Mortarian. I quite like him. Okay, so Spoils of War, 2,150 points. Three cards a turn, scoring as many objectives. You can't chuck them away. Spearhead deployment, gamemat.eu. Rob, let's go and look at these armies. Welcome to the end of all things. This is 2,150 points worth of Death Guard with a Nurgle det uh, detachment in it. That's a battalion, that's three command points. That's a battalion, that's three command points. I've also got a patrol thing going on, a HQ and some extra troops because I had some extra HQs lying around. Uh, two sorcerers, malignant plague casters. They will both have... Um... Miasma, Pestilence and Putrescent Vitality. Both of them with the same power, so if one of them dies, I can still get it off. And I've got two of the Brothers Grimm here, two of the Lords of Contagion. 
and then three units of Plague Marines. And uh, one of the units has got dual plasma, and one of the units has got dual blight launchers in, and a power fist in there, and they've got rhinos to rock around in. These rhinos are particularly stunning. I very much like them. Uh, the doors, the door extra bits that you can see on there come from spellcrow.com. And uh, Rob did a very nice job. I like this mouth on top of that one. It's very good. Nice rhino. And um, I asked Rob to make sure that my death guard didn't look like a standard death guard. I wanted it to be really mucky and messy and covered in filth and plenty of noble rot and blood splatter all over the place. And you can see he got very happy with those instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Two units of pox walkers, so 40 fearless troops there on the table. Two of the fetid bloat drones uh, coming up the tabletop there with the spitters. And then in the Nurgle Demon Detachment, I'm bringing the Nurgle Demons. It's the only non-Death Guard thing in my list. These are all the Nurgle Demons I own, and I'll be honest with you, I got them because of the Nurglings. Um, if you're playing with Nurgle, you need Nurglings. It was as simple as that. And the internet told me they were good as well. But I got them because I like Nurglings. And my wife, she does not like 40k, but the one thing that she does find quite sweet are Nurglings. It's a happy little chap. Yeah, happy little chap. Yeah, we're just giggling, yeah. having fun, throwing entrails. <laughs> throwing entrails all over the place. Yeah, two heralds coming in. Uh, they've got um, Miasma. Of... No, one minute. This one, Stream of Corruption. This one, Fleshy Abundance, because you can heal wounds on Nurgle demons with Fleshy Abundance. And these are Nurgle, and they have the demon key keyword. Also, you've got the drones, play drones in the black field, and they can be healed up as well. So, uh, very slow army. Everything in here, minus the rhinos, has got Disgustingly Resilient, which is nice. Um, a Warlord, which is going to be this one revoltingly resilient so he can he's a four up disgustingly resilient essentially unless he's taking mortal wounds instead of a five up he's got a four up and a four up and vulnerable save because he's in cataphracty Ar Ar artificer armor artificer armor cataphracty armor and he's got the suppurating plate relic so whenever he saves a wound in combat be that it's two up save or is four up and vulnerable save but not as disgustingly resilient because that's not a save that's a rule but whenever he makes a save you roll a dice, and on a four up, the unit that caused the wound to takes a mortal wound. So a 50-50 chance of him doing wounds back in combat. So he's definitely going to want to mix it up with these Deathwing. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the other army that begins with death. Okay, this is 2,150 points worth of Death Guard. This is a Vanguard detachment, so you've only got four command points. Who's leading the force here, Rob? Company Master... Company Master. No name, just Company Master X. Hammer and Shield? Hammer and Shield, and he's got the Warlord trait where you roll the six if he takes a wound and ignores it. Okay. Uh, he hasn't got any relics yet because Dark Angels aren't out yet, so he's just... Soon, my friend, soon. Soon, soon, the Unforgiven. Um, second HQ is... L Libby? ...is the Librarian. He's got a Combi Plasma and the Staff. Yep. And he's got Aversion and Mind Worm as his power. Mind Worm, you pick a unit within 12 inches and you can do a single mortal wound to them. And yep. that unit has to fight last in any fight phase, regardless of whether they're charged or anything. So okay. even when you get to the alternating stage, you'd have to pick them last. Okay. And Aversion, um, an enemy unit within 24 inches has to minus one to all there to hit rolls. Is it? So useless Pop against... only hit on fives anyway. Yeah, so, so it's pretty much only useful against either your... Um... Either your, um, your big daddies or your plague marines because the okay. death spitters would hit on automatically. Yeah, anyway, the death so spitters, yeah. Little yeah. bugger. Um, uh, what else? What do you want to point out next? We've got uh, some termies. Yeah, we've got two units of terminators. We've got a 10 man unit and a 5 man unit. Yep. The 5 man unit's got lightning claws, two thunder hammers. Uh, Cyclone Missile Launcher has got a Power Fist and a Storm Bolt. This is the good thing about Death when you can mix up the Assault Terminators with normal Terminators yeah. in there, which is just brutal. And then that's also got an Assault Cannon with a Power Fist. Can so you have two heavy weapons in a unit of five? Cyclone Missile Launcher is, well, Battlescribe lets me do it. So. Battlescribe lets you do it. Yeah, so... Okay, that's good enough reason for me. <laughs> and then over here, this is a unit of ten. This is a unit of ten. Which you can Combat Squad, right? I can Combat Squad if I want, yes. Okay. And that's basically got one, two, three... Four hammers, a fist, a heavy flamer with a fist. Uh, uh, it's got stuff in it. What's fist? this one over here? <laughs> Deathwing Knights. They've They're got, three up in Vun and those yeah. maces hit it. Maces and flails. And the, yeah. mace, the maces, they don't have unwieldy, so they don't hit on minus ones. Uh, and the maces nice. are times two strength, minus two damage, are they? two. 
and the and they're not unwieldy. No, and the I do flail, like the red effect that you've done yeah, on it. That's the, nice. The flail is plus two strength, uh, but it's minus three straight damage three, um, and again it's not unwieldy. So it's, sweet. Yeah. Then we've got two venerables at the back. They're venerables. Yeah. So what they do get, venerables do now? They've got a different rule. They've basically got the same as his warlord trait, where you roll a six and you can ignore the damage. Oh, and okay. Really tough. Okay. Uh, they've got twin last cannons uh, and fists with flamers. Okay. And then flamers. 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 Heavy flamers. And you've got Arkan lands raider pattern assault tank here. Yes. Yeah. Not not raiding because it goes on land. Raiding because of Arkan. Yeah, Arkan uh, Land. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Good man. Master of Mankind from Black Library, Horus Heresy book, read it. And awesome. he's got his own special grav, uh, grav land his raider, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, his yeah. floating land raider with the grav plates on it, and it's it, it's just taking beats from titans and just still and going on and on and on. It's got so many weapons, and it blows <laughs> everything up. It's, brilliant. it's basically run. a Spartan, a beefed up Spartan with extra guns. And floating. Maybe Forge World will release it at some point. Because, that would, that would but great. it was unkillable. It got shot by a Titan and just went, Meh. Which means it's still around. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I wonder if Arkan Land is still around. Maybe, maybe. So we've got Assault Cannon, Storm Bolter, and your, um, your Hurricanes. And when this thing assaults as well, it does mortal wounds, doesn't it? With those launchers at the front. Yeah, it, yes, does. it does. Okay. And so that'll be taking some Termies and Ixic and carry 16. Yep. So highly elite, small little army, particularly compared to mine. Uh, your mobility is not great, except during deployment where you can deep strike a lo lo load of stuff in. Um, so I'm going to outnumber you when it comes to grabbing these objectives, but... Uh, quality, quality. Quality over quantity. <laughs> Here we are after deployment, and the Deathwing of the Dark Angels has deployed first. They're deployed across this battle grid, small in numbers. There's a dread here. Uh, Five-man unit of Terminators plus the Libby in the Lands Raider. Assault tank and another um, dreadnought there. The remaining terminators and the knights are in reserve, ready to teleport down onto this battle grid and smash apart the forces of Grandfather Nurgle. The Nurglings can deploy anywhere nine inches away from an enemy, so long as it's not in their deployment zone. So I've got a unit there and a unit there, already on that objective, blurring in to the scenery there. The third unit of Nurglings is in the centre of this ruin cathedral that's taken direct hits from a marauder bomber now if i get turn one they could charge this thing yes there's about 38 rounds in overwatch coming at them but i just need to touch it and then it won't be shooting in turn one because it will have to fall back so that's why i stuck them in there and the rest of the force are all deployed on the table a uh, squad of pox walkers providing the front screen aware of this teleport strike that could come in the second squad of pox walkers strung out with a uh, toe in this corner because i didn't want any terminators deploying in that corner so the teleporting terminators will have to be along the line both of the uh blight lords are in the teleportarium myself so my cataphracty armored uh, lords will be teleporting in and the malignant pay clusters are in here with uh, some of the plague marines. There's some more plague marines there. I kept the bloke drones at the back, the plague drones at the back, to jump right or left. Nurgle armies are very, very slow, so I'm gonna need that speed later on. I'm gonna need the rhinos later on. I'm gonna need the fetter bloke drones to stay alive, because if they get taken away, then my footprint <laughs> will be here. I'm not gonna be able to move much further than this corner of the battle grid, a very slow army. Unless, of course, I run the Poxwalkers all the time. But to be honest, Poxwalkers are there to screen, right? They're there to die horribly at the guns of the enemy. They're not much more than mindless zombies. Okay, so I think we're ready to begin. First time I've played with Death Guard. First time in my life I've played with a Chaos Army. I feel a bit th filthy. I feel Grandfather Nurgle's touch all over me. Stop touching me, Grandfather. Let's go on to turn one. Before we do, we need to roll off for turn one. So, Rob, you chuck your stuff down first. You get a plus one to this die roll. <clears throat> you can't command point it. Just chuck it. I've got a one. You're going to beat me. Yay! Deathwing, go first. The Death Guard orders in turn one at a secure objective one, secure objective four, and to take no prisoners. Just destroy some of the Death Guard. 
Here we are at the end of turn one movement phase. The Deathwing Knights and the Company Commander are still staying in the Teleportarium for now. The Land Raider moving through this gap here. It could fit right next to these Nurglins. I think I can see a First Blood. Should mention that this is Objective 4 and that's Objective 1 and you haven't landed anyone back there at all. Instead, the big unit of 10 Terminators is right on my left flank here. Not going for these objectives then. Well, you have to claim objective. You have to land on that if you want it. Yeah. You've only got your two big dudes in teleport reserve. Yeah. So yeah, you can land on it if you want, but what are you going to do for the rest of the game? But you can't discard that. You're going to. No, I can't, but I give you a point, but I take one of your big dudes out of the game. Oh, okay. That's quite tactical. And then these guys, yeah, they're not on objective four. Yes. But I've got cyclone missile launcher, assault cannon. And You've got lots of stuff in there. Yeah, right. Shoot shoot those. So I can shoot you off that. And again, you have to then do something to get that. So, okay, I can't score them, but I can stop you scoring them. And I've got things in reserve that I can drop later to get them. Okay. So it's denying me is yes. what I'm hearing in all of that. I love to deny you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, opening up hostilities, the Land Raider is picking on the poor defenseless Nurglins. 24 shots with the Hurricane Bolts, plus 4 with the Storm Bolts on top, 28 shots. The Hitting bolter. on threes, the Humble Bolter. That's a lot of hits. What are these these dice here? Oh, they're, they, they're, um, they're these really cheap dice I got from these, these scumbags in London. Um, <laughs> tabletop Tactics, I think you they're called. You can't say that. Tabletop Tactics that. are awesome. They're we lovely like... people. They're so nice. Lawrence what? is one of the nicest people I've ever he met. He is Not a very nice, nice guy. Yeah. He stands on a box, you know. He is. He's quite short, actually, in He's real life. four foot yeah. two. Yeah. yeah. Bone's actually the tall one and the handsome one. I know. <laughs> Strength four, toughness two. Twos to wound. 16 wounds to save, 5 up demonic save, and yeah, see mark for death, that worked out for me. Um, is that funny one A? That's an awesome number 6 as it should be. Okay, so I only made 2 saves, and then they get 5 up disgustingly resilient, and that's another thing, yeah, yeah. Okay, so how many wounds on these bases? <laughs> Four wounds per base, you can see I don't know the army yet. So one base dead, one base dead, one with three wounds left. Now the assault cannon death. Twelve shots with the twin assault cannon, threes to hit, and twos to wound. Now the thing about this is because it has a neg one to its armor save, I don't get the disgustingly resilient. I would just get my five up demonic save. Because Nurglins have probably the best rule in the game, which is called squishable. I love it. They've got a rule called squishable. Games Workshop wrote it in there. So I need my fives. And I fail when that's first blood. They're bully. so happy and cute and bully. lovely. I'm not a bully, no, they are a bit of a bully, but you know. Next up, twin Laz Cannon from that dreadnought coming in at this rhino here. He moved, so this will be hitting on fours. It's a heavy weapon. And that's one hit. Strength nine, toughness seven, wounding on threes, and that's a wound mark for death. Mark for death. Minus three to the save. It's normally a three up save, so I need a six. And I don't get it. This does D6 damage to the Rhino. Three. It's got seven left. And I said hitting on fours, not threes, but it's a venerable. So it would have been hitting on threes because it moved instead of twos because it's a venerable normally hit on twos. But he rolled a one anyway, so we're all good. Twin Laz coming on this side, coming in at the fetid thing. Threes to hit. And you roll a one, double one, double one snake eyes. That's unfortunate. Right, this squad here wants to fire everything at them and then charge the Rhino, but I pointed out that you pick a weapon type, so you say you pick the Storm Bolters and you kill this base here. Once that's gone, he won't be able to fire any more of the weapons back there. So he can't kill them all off because of the mixture of weapons. Mm -hmm. So instead of firing two of the Storm Bolters yep, four shots. back there, yeah, yeah, you're beyond the 12, so threes to hit, max three, three hits, twos to wound. Three wounds. Three, and uh, but six up save plus one for ruins, which is a five up save, but a five up and bun, take your pick. So five up, the SM Bat Report logo is a six, and a five up disgustingly resilient, which I make. Storm Bottles did nothing. Assault cannons. Okay, six and shots. Fours, fours so. yeah, because it's heavy. And you rolled a 50-50 there, three yeah. of them hit. Stats. Two's to wound. And you get three wounds in. I have three five up demonic saves. And I make one, so this base takes two wounds, he's got two left. And then you said the rest coming at the Rhino. Just the Cyclone Missile launcher. Okay, the, two. The strength eight, four, man. Strength eight, yeah. Three, four. Fours to hit because it's heavy, one that's hit. a miss, yeah. Uh, strength eight, three. Yep. It's a wound. That's a wound. Minus two to my save, five up. 
and I make it. That's Ooh, all the shooting. That's all the shooting done. So straight on to the assault phase. Overwatch did hit, did wound, but Terminator armor standing strong. Now you need a nine inch charge, so good luck. And that's a four, that's not a nine. And even with a command point, you would fail the charge. And that's the end of turn one, your turn one. You don't score any of your objectives. Oh no, you ah, do get no prisoners. prisoners. For and being a blood. bully, for picking on those nerglings, and first blood, yeah. So it's two points to the death wing. Now we go on to death guard and Nurgle Chaos Demons. Turn one. Here are my objectives. Secure one, which is also in Rob's hand, so that's worth two points if I deep strike back in his corner. And death begets life. Whilst this tactical objective is active, keep a tally of the number of enemy models. Models, not units. You kill in each of your turns. Score a victory point if you kill at least seven. So if I kill seven models this turn, I get a point. If I keep it in my hand, eventually when I've killed seven models, I get a point. But in addition, I get another point for every models I kill in excess of this, up to a maximum of seven victory points. So for every seven models, I'm going to get a point until I score that one. But there's a lot of Terminators out there, so that might be tough to actually get to that in the end. And then Master the Warp, I'll get a point if I get a Psychic Power off. If I get three off, I could get D3 points. So, some interesting orders from High Command. Here we are after my movement phase. Everything's shifting around to deal with these Terminators here. The Nurgling's dropping down. Objective four is in Rob's hands, so I'm going to score that. That's a guaranteed point. And then the second in command, Lord of Contagion, dropping in here, because I've got Secure Objective one in my hand, and Bespoils of War, Secure Objective one in Rob's hand. So that's... Uh, three points right there. I know he's a way away from all the action for the rest of the game, but that's worth two points. That could be game winning there. I don't know. Um, and then stuff jumping out of the rhinos and moving around. What's happening here is Heralds of Nurgle give a plus one to strength to any Nurgle demon within six inches. So his, he's now up to plus one strength and the plague spitters on him are equivalent to a strength. Strength 6 now goes up to strength 7 and their strength user guns. Strength 7 coming in. Still wounding on 3s. But if I get, I think it's called putrescent vitality, which is plus 1 to his strength, plus 1 to his toughness on him with a psychic power, that will get those plague spitters up to strength 8. From strength 6 to strength 8. And they'll be wounding the terminators on 2s. And it's a 9 inch range. And I'm in range. So that seems like a tactic to me. And then there's a smite, um, smite going on there, smite going on there, smites, lots of smiting across the line. They're going to be smitten. And the other plague, Herald, is in 18 inch range of the Arkham Pan's, Arkham Lands Raider Pattern Assault Tank, which is over there. So I'm going to smite him too. Both of these squads out firing in. There'll be lots and lots and lots of death coming in on those Terminators. The Pox Walkers are still maintaining a screen because I don't want anything deep striking back here. I did think about getting the other Feta Bloke drone up and over. I could have landed it there. I'd have been out of range, but beginning to penetrate into the Death Watch, Death Watch, <laughs> Death Guard, wing. Death Wing, Death Wing lines, <sighs> Death Wing. But uh, I've been in counter charge position of the Death Wing Knights that are inside the Land Raider. So I decided to keep him back as a counterpunch unit myself as well. That's it. That's the tactics. Let's go to the psychic phase. So Crescent Vitality, Warp Charge 6, casting it on the bloke drone. And that passes. And now it's Strength 8, Toughness 7. Strength 8, Toughness 8. I like it. Now doing Miasma of Pestilence on this squad here, which would be minus 1 to hit them. Walk charge six, that passes. And it just says minus one to hit, so that counts in the shooting phase and in the assault phase. I like it. So both of them gone off, he is now dry. Um, and he's gonna do smite. Which does not pass. I'm not gonna command point that. This one's gonna do smite. Which passes. And you take D3 mortal wounds. Which is two mortal wounds, killing me a terminator. And this one's going to do smite on the land raider. And that doesn't pass. But I did get three psychic powers off, so that will be D3 points for Master the Warp. Now let's shoot stuff. Plague Spitters, auto hitting, 2D6 shots. That's eight shots. By shots, I mean hits. And this is strength eight now, winning on twos, and it's minus one to your save. 
And that's eight wounds. I like it. Okay, three up saves. All right, I'm going to start on the... Uh... Claws guy. Yeah. Okay. He's alive. He's still alive, but he's taken a wound. And he's alive. And he's alive. And he's still alive. Stop it. He's still. Uh, did you just take a wound on the Terminator? A wound. A wound. Oh, no. A wound. Stormbolt is on the rhinos. I'll fire them together. This one not in rapid fire range. This one in rapid fire range. So this will be six shots hitting on threes. And that's only three hits. And I'll be wounding on fours. And that's two more wounds. This is now a two up save. And he makes them again. He's tough. Four Stormbolt is in the squad. Fight squash. It's firing at them. Threes to hit. And that was four hits. Fours to wound. Uh, three more wounds on this guy with the claws. Two ups. Did you roll a one yet? You did roll a one. I killed two Terminators. Now I've got two Blight Launchers in this squad. Blight Launchers, Assault 2 Weaponry, hitting on threes. Three hits. Strength 6, wounding on threes. And then minus two. So storm two shield. minus on your Storm Shields. Two, two three up saves. And you make them both. Oh no. Right, the second squad is going to shoot at you as well. Two Blight Launchers in this squad as well. Firing at them. Threes to hit. Only three hits. Two, one hit, sorry. Threes to wound. That's a wound. Storm Shield again. And what is that? Four. That's a four. Stormbolt is in the back squad going in. Threes to hit. And fours to wound. And two wounds. Oh no, this isn't working as planned. And you save them. Malignant Bladecasters fired their pistols. Didn't do anything at all. Now I've got this squad at the back. If I was in 18 inch range, I could rapid fire in because Plague Marines or Death Guard themselves have a rule which means rapid fire kicks in at 18 inch range, not half the weapons range, but they're not. So they're just firing, because that's about 19 inches away. So they're just firing four shots. These are the bolt guns, two hits, one wound, one two up save, which you make. And then the two you know, overcharge? Overcharge? plasma guns, yeah. two plasma guns. Yeah, let's overcharge them because it does. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 that's fine. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> let's overcharge them. Threes to hit. They both hit. Strength eight now. I regret my goalie. <laughs> <laughs> Twos to wound. Ooh, that, that, I'll, do, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do that one again. Yeah, so two wounds. This is two damage each. You're doing them on your storm shields. Have you uh, got... Two, yeah, I've got, I've got enough storm shields. Okay, shield. it'll kill one if you fail it. And well, you don't, don't fail it. So These guys are cursed. With good luck. <laughs> and that's my shooting gun done. I killed two terminators and that's it. Now I can charge if I want to. And there's fists, and there's what's in here? There's a couple of hammers. There's one, two, three. There's lots of power fists in there. Smacking heavy flamer. Heavy flamer. Well, so I can charge. I can charge with the rhino. I can eat the Overwatch with the rhino, then charge with this squad in. And the only thing that's really going to hurt you. Yes, I've got plague weapons which will pour on the wounds, but you'll probably make the saves. There is a fist in there, but you'll put that on your shield and probably. I might kill. What I'm saying is, I might kill a Terminator if I charge you. But you'll kill all of these guys. So I think I'm not going to charge you because I think I might kill more on Overwatch, potentially. But okay. I actually know what I think I'll do actually is charge with the Rhino. So if the Rhino survives, no, because again, you've got the hammers and the things, the Rhino will not survive the assault and then you'll kill it. Because if the Rhino got in there and did survive the assault, then you wouldn't be able to shoot or charge next turn. You'd have to fall out of combat with the Rhino and then... I wouldn't charge. I'm not going to charge. Because your Pestilence lasts till next turn as well. Yeah, my Pestilence lasts till next turn. So it's minus one to hit. Fours. But yeah, no, fives. Fives, that's true. I could... No, I'm not going to charge. I'm going to try and kill a couple more on Overwatch. If I'd have killed more than two Terminators, I'd have charged. Anyway, that's my thinking. That's it. I do get a point for this objective. I get a po two points for that objective. I get D3 points for uh, Master of the Warp. So let's see what we get. And that's a one. Do I command point that? You've got nine. I've got nine. I'm command pointing it. I am command pointing it. I get two for that. Plus two plus that's five points. Five points to two as we go into Death Wing. Death, death wing. wing. Death Wing. Death Wing Kaka. turn two. Kaka. <laughs> Here are the orders for the Death Wing, Secure Objective 6, Supremacy, take any three objectives for D3 points. And Priority Orders received, his Warlord needs to defend Objective 1. Here we are after turn 2 movement for the Death Wing and all forces are deployed. The Death Wing Knights are here, ready to come charging through and start eating into my castle. 
Um, these guys advanced. They got out of the land radar, moved forward and advanced, and they're within three inches of that objective there. However, I have objective secured. So they need to kill a, enough of these poxwalkers to get that one, because he needs three objectives for supremacy. So there's one. The land raider is on another. And then his warlord is adhering to priority orders received. He wants to defend objective one. Now, if he gets that defend objective one with priority orders received, he gets two points for defending it. But you also get an additional three points if your warlord does it, if you achieve that. So that would be five points, three for priority orders received and the two for defending the objective. So it's worth sticking his warlord in the back of the table. And let's face it, he's highly unlikely to lose slay the warlord in later games rounds, unless I do something silly like drop my warlord in there and go for him. Hmm. That gives me a nasty thought. I am playing Chaos now. These Terminators are moving up the table to try and bust into the castle this way around. So essentially a three-pronged attack by the Deathwing. We've got right flank, central and left flank. Uh, yeah, this could be a painful turn. Let's go on to the psychic phase. So in the psychic phase, just before the psychic phase, that's subjective six, which uh, Rob needs to secure as well. So what is your Libby doing? Well, librarian's going to cast Smite with the closest unit being the Poxwalkers. Yep, Smite away. You need a five. Eleven. And that's a nine. I will attempt to deny because cool. my Herald's just with it is easily within 24 inches. I need a 10. I get an eight. Nope. So that's a smite. D3 mortal wounds. You do two. I get two disgustingly resilient because it's not a save. It's a rule and I make them both and you don't kill any of my pox walkers. And mind uh, worm. Mind worm, yeah, which yep. is a six. And that's an 11 and that passes and you are within 24 inches of that malignant pay cluster. But I need a 12. And I don't get it. So you do kill a poxwalker. Oh no, one minute. Disgustingly resilient. You kill a poxwalker. Opening up the shusting phase, a venerable dreadnought firing <laughs> at the bloke drone. Uh, hitting on three. Is it move? But it's heavy and you both miss again. He's too venerable. He's too it's, venerable. It's He's a bees. bit old. He's wearing the wrong shoes. That's what it is. <laughs> I guess this one's doing the same one. Uh, this one. That one, yep. Yeah, you can't miss. Twice, can you? Lightning strikes. No, one of them hits this time. Wounds on a three. Strength nine, toughness eight. You do it. I have a five up demon save and a five up disgust. Oh no. Uh, 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 you pass I've one saved of one of them. Yeah, it does d6 damage. I do. It's a four more. Okay, four more disgustingly resilience to make. And I make one. So he takes three wounds. I believe they start with ten. It's a new army. I don't know. And the heavy flame are hitting the squad of plague marines. You've got two hits. Wounding on fours. So strength five on toughness. Five as well. It's two wounds. Minus one, so this is a four up save. And I make them both. All right, these guys here. Right, it'd be minus one to hit the squad in front. And then, so instead, what's it? The cyclone missile launcher firing at this guy. Yep, and then, and then all then, the storm bottles and the assault kind of shooting at the pox walkers. Why are you firing at all those pox walkers? So I want to kill them because... You need that objective. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cyclone missile launcher. You moved, so fours. fours. And one hit. Strength eight, toughness eight now. Because so of my falls. psychic shenanigans. So that is a wound. Death. Mark for death. Five up demon save. Which I make. Marks, SM battle Mark report for Gibraltar. Save. Mark for Gibraltar. <laughs> I like it. Right, uh, and then lots of small arms, or not so small arms, into these poxwalkers. Did five wounds with the storm bolters. And I only have disgustingly resilient saves. And uh, <laughs> I made four of them. Because they don't have any armor. I kill one. Just one. Let's take this guy all the way from over here. Because that would be annoying. <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't laugh at No, much. you're not sorry. Don't lie. <laughs> Don't can him hitting on fours because it's heavy. That was hilarious. Uh, how many hits is that? Three. Uh, you're winning on twos though. Strength six, toughness three. Uh, and I don't get a save. That's two wounds, but I do get disgustingly resilience. And you killed two so far. Right, what else you got? Heavy flamer on the squad in front. Heavy fl oh yeah, yeah, because it can only hit them. Yeah, we did talk about this off camera. Auto hitting. Auto hitting once. <laughs> Strength five. Uh, wait, 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 five. Wait, wait, um, Are you going to spend one of your command points? Yes, I'm going to spend one of my command points. Okay, all right, okay. Two. <laughs> it's 100% better. It's 100%. Uh, one one wound. wound. One wound. Four up save because it's minus one. With a five up disgustingly resilient, the first plague marine dies. Interestingly. Shall I take a blow? No, I won't. I'll just take a normal dude. Uh, and what else? Is that all your shooty from that squad? Oh, from that squad, yes. 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 
But now I suppose you've got the Land Raider and this second squad here to try and clear away as many Poxwalkers as possible. Good luck. Okay, the assault cannon firing in. I'd rapid fire those bolters, by the way, because if I might take them from this side and then you won't boy. be in rapid fire range. Threes to hit. Threes to wound. Yes, 17 wounds there. Through 17 disgustingly resilient. You might actually do this. 12 got wiped out. There's there's six left there. That was painful. You're going to be able to do this. You've got because it was everything from the land raider, right? Oh yeah. Including 12 shots with the assault cannon coming yeah. into them. Okay, so these are hitting on threes. It's a heavy gun, but you can move and fire land raiders uh, because power of power of the machine spirit. That's the bad boy. Only six hits. Two to wound. But you get five wounds. Five wounds. Five disgustingly resilient. Six guys to get through. Uh, I made one, two, because these weird ones, these are sixes, right? Yep. So three more dead. Let's take from this side. You got a storm bolter as well, on top of that thing. Yep. Or did you fire it with the twin? The no, team? no, I didn't. Um, so okay. Was that three? Four shots with storm bolter, still in range, a rapid firing. You get one, just one. Three's to wound. And no more wounds. And that's the land raider spoken. You're going to have to divert some of the firepower with your terminators to kill them to guarantee that Advanced. objective. They advanced. They advanced. Oops. Okay, that's the end of the shooting phase. We're on to charges. Poxwalkers are fearless. They're mindless zombies. They don't have to take morale tests. We're on to the charges, so no charging here. But I'm sure there's some charging coming on here. And your warlord wants to crack my second in command. He doesn't have a shooting attack, but my plague marines certainly do. So let's roll up on camera. You need a nine to make this charge. Start defending that objective, and you get a... Four. Now you could command point that, but you're gonna need a six. Could you command point it? You really? Yeah. A one in six chance. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Rob is choosing the dreadnought first to multi assault the plague marines and the fetid bloat drone. So long as he ends up with an inch of both of them, he can do some damage. So let's um, two d six with the plague spitters on the bloat drone. That's only four. Do I command point it? It would be cheeky to do so at this stage. Uh, strength eight. Yeah, I'm going to command point it. Woohoo! So he's still strength eight. Dreadnoughts are toughness seven. This is threes. Beautiful. That's five wounds at minus one, sir. And you take three wounds. Only the mark for death coming through for you there. Those dice available from tabletoptactics.tv. Plain Marines doing no damage on Overwatch. And this is the charge, and that's a four. You're probably only engaging the Plague Marine, sir. Then with the pile-in move, actually, the Dreadnought was able to pile in three inches and engage both of these models. And then the Death Wing, mm -hmm. one of them made it through the gap, look. So he could hit the Bloat Drone too, and the models within an inch of the guy within an inch could also choose to strike that, rather than the Plague Marines, because they've got a nerf on hitting those Plague Marines. And now we have the knights all the way over here, and you need a nine again. Poxwalkers don't have any shots because they're zombies. And you get a nine. That's a nine. Hands in the air. Opening up hostilities. Venerable Dreadnought on the bloat drone. We've got three actually venerable six up. Ignore the wounds to roll for first. So if we roll for them and you make none of them. Basically, Venerables can ignore wounds. I did three on Overwatch, can ignore wounds on a six up. Didn't get any. You put all your attacks on the bloke drone? Yes. Okay, so how many attacks is that? Four attacks, hitting on two, strength 12. Go for it. And you, they all hit. Strength 12, I'm toughness eight at the moment, mm -hmm. so you're winning on threes. And what did you get? Through four, four wounds. Four of them. Minus three. Okay, so it's all down to my invulnerable saves. Five up, because I'm a demon. <sighs> I make none of them. That is 12 wounds. Is it? 12 wounds. Flat three damage. Flat three. 12 disgustingly resilience to make and seven wounds to get through. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Damn, he's dead. And they blow up on a four. He doesn't blow up. You get a command point there? No, because it'll hurt my stuff. Mm. Then over here, two guys hitting the rhino. Uh, I'm in black. Okay. Hitting on fours. 
Strand eight, toughness seven, winning on threes, and you only get one, and that's a fist, right? And that's the chain fist, minus four. Minus no four, save, so no damage. save. Yeah, he's the chain fist guy. Yeah. Just a flat two damage, chain Just fist. Flat two. Rhino's down to five wounds left. Three hammers and two fists coming into this squad here. They're unwieldy, so they're hitting on fours. Because of Miasma or Pestilence, they're now hitting on fives. Hammers first. Hammers first, yep, yeah, fives to hit. That's unfortunate, that was one hit. And it's strength eight, toughness five on Plague Marine, so you're wounding on a three. And that's a wound. It's a minus three AP, so I need a six, which I don't do, and it does a flat D three, uh, three damage, so it's disgustingly resilience, which I don't make. Wounds don't spill over, you just kill one. Now the power fists, there's an extra one in here because it's a sergeant, yeah? No, one of the Thunderhammers was an extra one. Okay. Now I've got four guys with power fists, two yep. attacks each. Yep. Not a single hit. Not a single hit. Not a single hit. Not a single hit. You're going to kill one Plague Marine. Yeah, all single space marine. Awesome. Maybe your Deathwing Knights will do better against the Poxwalkers. Sergeant striking first with the Flail of the Unforgiven. Threes to hit. And strength? Six. Okay, winning on threes. Or uh, twos, because I'm toughness three. One wound. How many damage does it do? Two damage. Two damage, two disgustingly resilience. Killing one. The important thing to note here is the Flail of the Unforgiven would spill over and kill more than one. If you killed more than one, which you didn't. I'm gonna take this guy back here. Just, okay, rub it in. Uh, well, you know, you're killing at the front. I get this wave pushing into where they were. <laughs> anyway, so next up, well, you've got what? I have Mace of Absolution. Okay, hitting on threes, because they're not unwieldy. That's pretty good, that's not good hitting either. That's yeah, five that's hits. Five, 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 Strength, uh, eight. Eight, two's to wound. Um, and how much damage do they do? They do three damage each. Okay. Can't spill over. So it's three disgustingly resilient at a time because it doesn't. First one's dead. Second one's dead. Third one's dead. Fourth one's dead. You killed five pox walkers in total. Now I'm going to pile in and strike back again. Eleven pox walkers managed to get into combat. Normally they hit on fives, but if the unit contains more than ten models, they hit on fours. So that's my hits, um, but their strength uh, three. So I need five to wound, and I actually get two wounds. Can I kill a Deathwing Knight? No, I can't. No, I can't. And back over here to my Plague Marines. There's three normal ones left, so they hit on threes, and they wound on fours, and they reroll ones because it's a plague weapon, plague knives. So I actually get two wounds in on your Terminators. Two, two up saves, which you make. And then the power fist on the sergeant, champion, something chaosy. He hits on fours because it's a power weapon, a power fist, it's unwieldy. Strength eight. I do a wound. Stormshield save. Stormshield save, yep. Yeah. Three up in one, which you make. Mark, Mark for, for death. Mark for life. Mark for yeah. life. I like it. Then the rhino, sixes, one hit, threes, nothing. And that's the end of my turn. Uh, I think I've got a morale, no, I lost two there, so they're gonna pass morale because their leadership is high. Yep, leadership eight, even for roll to six, that would be eight, so that's a pass. And as discussed earlier, poxwalkers do not need to take morale tests because they're mindless. So that's the end of your turn too. Did you score any objectives? I you haven't got not. supremacy. No. You didn't get thingy bob defending of that objective. And what was the third one? Objective six. Objective six. Supremacy, turn. objective six. And, oh yeah, I'm going to steal that off you. So it's five points to two as we go into Death Guard. Turn two. Here are my objectives in turn two. They're bad. Area denial. Get no enemies within 12 inches of the centre or six inches of the centre. They're right in the centre. Not getting that one. Psychological warfare. Make them fail the morale test. Death wing are fearless for some reason. They've got some broken rule. And no prisoners. Uh, just kill stuff. I should be able to do that one. And I'm going to steal objective six from the Death Wing's hand. Here we are after the Death Guard movement phase in turn two, and I did something very silly or genius, depending on your point of view. My Lord of Contagion HQ was dropped in there, next to objective one, second in command going forward to kill his Warlord. That would be a point for Slay the Warlord. I could have just left these two together to slaughter it to batter it out next to objective one. But as I mentioned, if he gets defend objective one, if he gets those priority orders received off, that's five points. And at five points to two, 
that could be a game winning move, his warlord taking that. And he could still get very lucky and kill both of these Lord of Contagion. This guy has got a shield and a hammer. So I need to stop him. So he's going back there to try and stop that going on. And I know it, it, it might get me five points, which is awesome. If it goes horribly wrong, then I think you'll probably win the game. <laughs> the best placement for Lords of Contagion is, of course, back with bunches of Plague Marines because they give buffs to... they can deal mortal wounds. If, you're, if there's a Lord of Contagion in here, any enemy units that are within an inch of any Plague Marines that are next to Lord of Contagion, they can do mortal wounds to that unit on a 4-up. So the best place for them would have been here. But I need to stop and get those 5 points. So this is what we look like after the movement phase. The guy that was in there moved five inches around there and this squad broke away. They are within two inches of each other. I am in coherency and I am out of combat so I can shoot at them. And I've got a potential, there's a malignant playcaster, malignant playcaster, herald, herald. So we've got potential of a lot of smiting going on here. And the herald is increasing this bloke drone strength to seven. And then if I get my psychic power off, it'll be strength eight, toughness eight. Hit them again. I've got to kill more than two. It's got to happen. And then the third rank, first rank, second rank, third rank are now within 18 inch rapid fire range. If I don't deal with these guys and they smash through, then I'm dead. Then that's the end of this corner. And he's got a second rank there. And he's got the Deathwing Knights here, which will break through combat as well. I'm actually in quite a nasty position. I've got to defend in three locations, and I'm not really defending in the center at all. All I've done is move the Rhino up and around. So I'm double teaming that objective there because I don't want Rob getting supremacy. He's going to have to kill the Poxwalkers and the Rhino to get the supremacy. The guy with the big bell has got a plasma pistol. He can overcharge it and fire it in there as well. Keeping the drones available to move on to objectives later on so yeah critical stuff this could be a very critical turn let's go on to the psychic phase lord number one doing putrescent vitality on the bloat drone need a six and that's a pass and now it's a strength eight toughness eight very important and now he's going to smite into the death wing that's a pass do you have any psychers over here within 12 inches of that 24 of that yeah, his librarian is within 12, uh, 24 inches, so you need to beat the 5, sir. And you deny my smite. Okay, smite number 2, Herald, smiting. And you can't deny anymore. Oh, uh, no, the Arcanas have a special rule where they can just deny as much as they want. No, they don't. D3 mortal wounds. That's one mortal wound. Only one wound. And then this one is going to do Miasma of Pestilence on the biggest squad. Minus 1 to hit. Need a six, that's a pass, and then he's going to smite. And that's a pass, and this does d3 mortal wings. That's another mortal wound, killing one death wing. And then the last smite, this herald here, and unfortunately his closest thing is the dreadnought. But let's smite the dreadnought, he's down to five wounds. And that's a pass, d3 wounds on the dreadnought. And that's another, I rolled three ones for all those smites. Six to ignore. Six to ignore with Venerable, you're right, yes. So, only kill one Terminator with that wave of smite, but at least they're minus one to hit, and at least he's up to his high strength again. Right, now let's shoot. He's shooting at the Terminators, 2d6 auto hits, and that's a six. Strength eight, wounding on twos, that's five wounds. Rolling three ups all together, then we'll sort it all out afterwards, because it's minus one to hit. And there's a one, there's another one, there's three ones. There's... Okay, so three wounds in total. That's a dead Terminator plus one more. Now this squad of six are firing. I'm spending a command point for veterans of the long war. I've seen it on tabletop tactics. It's a, I've thing. It's a thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's plus big. one to wound, it's big. Let's fire the rapid fire bolt guns into this squad, hitting on threes. And that was only three hits. Uh, it will be wounding on fours, but it's plus one to wound, so wounding on threes. I get a wound. That was a well spent command point. And you save it. Oh no, I got the Blight Launcher as well. That's why I did it. The Blight Launcher. Uh, assault 2. 3's to hit. They all hit. Lovely. This is strength 6, so this would be wounded on 3's, but now it's wounded on 2's. See, that was the reason. Don't roll any 1's. <sighs> Look at that. It worked, because that wouldn't have done a thing. So, 4 wounds. 
at minus two, and each of them does d3 damage. Who's wounded? This guy first. First save is a four up. First save is a four up, okay. Which you make, and you make, and you don't make, so he dies, and then you do one on the shield. Oh, you roll a one for a shield die. So this is a d3 on a shield guy. And a killer shield guy as well, killing two terminators. Hey, these stratagems are a thing, so oh, oh. let's try another one. <laughs> Nurgle's Rock, so seven inches of a character. It costs three command points, this. Seven inches of a character, and it's these two things here. I've got to roll a dice. On a four up, they suffer D3 mortal wounds, that unit and that unit. So it's a bit like an artillery bombardment. So I need a four up on your dread knight. No, no, four up. <laughs> no. And then a four up on this unit. Yes, it hits them. And so Nurgle as rock comes wafting out of my malignant playcast and does D3 mortal wounds on your terminators. One, command point, what the hell? Let's spend four command points for this one strategy. Three, three, that's a five, so that does three more damage. Puts me down to two command points left, which is the same as Rob, so I'm pleased with that. I'm killing off these terminators. This unit can't fire because they fell back. The plague casters can shoot their pistols. Let's do them together. Uh, both hit, and one wound, that's a five. Roll a one, no. Nope. And then the squad behind <laughs> will fire its rapid firing bolt guns of death into them. You're within 18 inches, so I can fire these twice. And they hit on threes, and these will wound on fours. One more wound, roll a one piece. Thank you. That um, kills uh, off that hammer uh, shield nothing guy. Nothing if not played. And now I'm going to overcharge my two plasma guns again. Roll one, please. Okay, I'll try. I did roll a one, so one of them <laughs> dies. I know, I get a disgustingly resilient on that five up. Oh no, it's just a removed. It's just a removed. They're just removed. Yeah, I missed twice. One dies. Roll a one, please. I roll a one. <laughs> <laughs> it works for you. Two's to wound. <laughs> That's a wound. Three up for. Three up um... shield. No! Uh... The mark for death dice will tell you. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to command point that? Because that will kill don't. one. I'm going to kill one. Blah. Pretty good, just one Terminator left. Now this thing can shoot at something. Let's shoot at these Terminators, because at least I'll get my rapid fire in. Threes to hit, uh, three hits, and fours to wound. Two wounds on your Termies. Oh, <laughs> you rolled a one. There's a one left. Damn. <laughs> You can put it on the one with the cyclo missile launch. No, it's the, it's the one okay, the malignant playcaster is now going to shoot. I was going to overcharge the plasma pistol, but I'm not now because if I get a wound in, it'll kill him. Uh, plasma pistol, threes to hit. That's a hit. Threes to wound, strength seven. That's a wound. Terminator save? Minus. Minus is three. It's a plasma gun, yeah. Oh, map for death, well done. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, just wounded one of them, didn't kill them. These guys can shoot, but it's only 12 inch range. I think that's the end of all my shots. Yeah, that's all the end of my, all my shots. Nearly slaughtered them, I like it. Haven't hurt that dreadnought yet. Actually, no, he's down to four left. Yeah, that's it, I'm not assaulting anywhere. Um, they're minus one to hit. Heal up plus one strength and toughness, plus two strength and toughness. Let's go on to the assault phase and charge here. This is a five inch charge. I really need this to happen. I need to hit you first. And I make it. That's what you needed last time, by the way. That's a nine. See that nine? That's how you roll nine. I got a nine. You can't do maths. That's a nine. That's a six and a three is a nine. No, that's a, that's a six and a three. And I don't like you. <laughs> Lord of Contagion. Attack. <laughs> What? <laughs> From Yorkshire, that one, eh? Lord of Contagion. Right, the Lord of Stop <laughs> Rob, please stop laughing. Okay, second in command, the Lord of Contagion, trying to strike this dude. He hits on threes with twos with uh, four attacks. And I get three in. His Man Reaper, it's not a Man Reaper, it's a Plague Reaper, is plus two strength. So I'm wounding on threes. But um, it's a plague weapon, so I'm re-rolling ones. Three ones. It's a plague weapon. Plague weapons allow you to re-roll one. Yeah, I know. And that's two wounds at minus three, but each does a flat three damage. He's got six wounds, right? Yeah. So if you fail both of these, with your three up and bun, you could be in trouble. You've got your six up, feel no pain as well. Storm shield, though. Storm shield. Get your storm shield up, lad. 
like and you make them both oh dear so now you smack me back because your hammer does a flat three damage as well right it does but i hit on threes okay threes yeah because you're unwieldy i'm not unwieldy but i can reroll ones oh yeah because you're the yeah captain okay four hits one on three hits sorry three hits toughness i am toughness five so threes threes to wound all of them wound and it's minus a lot three but I have a four up in vulnerable save because I'm a cataphracty. Fours. And I fail one. So that does how much damage? Three flat. A flat three damage. I have three disgustingly resilient to make. And I make one. And he's got four wounds left and that's the only charge. Now we've got this assault over here with the poxwalkers. Right, then over here, I did a wound to a Deathwing Knight, but he killed six or seven of them back again. He killed a ton of them back again. And that's the end of my turn. I don't get area denial. I haven't got no prisoners because I haven't killed anything. And I don't get psychological warfare because you're Deathwing and you're not scared of nothing. A bit like a poxwalker. However, I do steal objective six off of you because I've got objective secured and I'm within three inches of that objective, which gets me up to six command points. Six command points. Six points. To your two. Six points to two. Deux points. Deux points. Uh, and now it's, I'm, I'm a bit worried about your turn three, to be honest, because this Dreadnought has got four wounds left and they don't degrade. This unit of Terminators are, yeah, are going to start rampaging. These guys will dig their way through that mound of zombies. And who knows how the Battle of the Century will go around here, particularly when Lord of Contagion number two comes wheeling in there. The Brothers are Grim will take him down. I guarantee it. Maybe. Let's go on to Deathwing <laughs> in turn three. Here are the Deathwing orders. Defend objective two. This is achievable. The Land Raider is parked on it. And what is going to shift that Land Raider? Nothing, I tell you. The Supremacy is still in his hand and priority order received. His Warlord wants to get that objective one. Here we are after the movement phase, the Land Raider moving back and starting to defend Objective 2 and the Dreadnought that was over there has moved around all of a sudden and your Warlord has broken away. What is going on here, Rob? I don't like it. Fox transmissions have come from the Battle Barge and yes. the head must be cut from the snake. I like so, it. So. I do like it. They shall kill this. Right, okay. Disgusting, repugnant, wonderfully painted, but disgusting <laughs> uh, creature before rounding on the Warlord. Okay, That's so the, the idea is the Dreadnought is now closest to him because he's a character and you can shoot him. That's why you moved him, otherwise he would have been closer to the Rhino. Yes, and the Land okay. Raider is the same. And the Land Raider is now, yeah, closer to him as well. So you can pump loads and loads of shots <clears throat> into him. Mm. And then, so what, then you kill him. All right, and then try and get that priority order. Yes, my Warlord five is points. currently stood there. Swinging his hammer nonchalantly at your wall. But then the Nurglins can block it. And yeah, but I'll smush them. It's turn three, Squish, I suppose. Squishable. You've got a, they are squishable. Mm. You've got a few more turns to try and get that priority order. But you're diverting a lot of firepower to do it. But it's five points. It's five points. Whilst maintaining the defence of the central cathedral. Yes. And then Terminator's coming through. You need three objectives for supremacy. So there's one there. You've got to kill both of them. Mm. Venerable Dreadnought on four wounds left. And... This guy. This guy's going to attack the rhino. Yes. He's going to kill it. Yes. And then he's going to consolidate into this squad, which will then have to fall back. Ah. So there's less firepower. This there. is a dastardly plan. Yes. Let's go on to the psychic phase. All right. So smite coming up on the poxwalk is looking for a five, and you get it, and that's D three mortal wounds on the poxwalk. Oh no, no, yeah, I couldn't deny. What did you get there? Eight. Eight. So I need a nine. No. D three mortal wounds. Two. two mortal wounds, two disgustingly resilience. You kill two, that's one left. Mine worm will do one damage if you get it off. One mortal wound. I do, on a get ten. It off. There's another one within 24 inches. I need to beat a 10. No, <laughs> no. And that does a mortal wound. Single mortal wound. I need a five up to keep those box walkers alive. No, you kill the box walkers. Part one of your plan has come together. Kill the <laughs> rhino. <laughs> And you're starting to get supremacy. So we're going to be going on to the shooting phase. Short cat. What are you doing? That's not very... Cat. 
Slightly distracted by the cat there. We did some movement back here actually. Rob didn't want to move the assault cannon and the cyclone missile launcher, so they're hitting on threes instead of fours. I've allowed him to put it back again because I'm a nice guy. You are a lovely man. Thank you. You're welcome. So yeah, cyclone missile launcher threes to hit with the crack shot or frag, it's one of them. It's the strength eight one. Yeah, that's a hit. Wound on a three, strength eight toughness. That's a wound, minus two. I need a five up. No. D6 damage. Five. It's down to five wounds left. And now you've got the assault cannon firing in, spraying lead all the way along the hull, hitting on threes. And it's strength uh, six, six toughness five. seven. So you get five to wound at minus one. And you get three. So three four ups. Ooh, I failed to make one. So the five plus. I got three wounds left. Three. Combi plasma from the librarian firing into the rhino. Hits. Wounds on a four. Four, four minus three. Minus three, I need a six. Which I don't get. It's down to two wounds left. Are there any storm bolters in there? One storm bolter. One storm bolter. Uh, yeah, one hit. One wound. But you do wound. Three up save. Yep, so it's two wounds left on the rhino. Talking about forgetting things, I've got to take the plasma guy away when it got hot last turn. So next on the shoosting, Vish, do you wish to shoot now? Last cannon and heavy flamer. All right, what? That's this squad here. Okay, minus one to hit with the last cannon. I thought it was that one. Oh yeah, it was this one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, last cannon. Minus one to hit anyway, because you moved and you're a big boy. Or did you not move? You just sort of... Just sort of shuffled. You didn't move. His back is to... Okay, two's to hit with the last cannon. I'm down with that. Both hit. Uh, strength 9, toughness 5. One wound. One a wound. Minus 3. I need a 6 up. Booyah! <laughs> Booyah! Booyah! D6 and a flamer. Yep. Four. Four. Four's to wound. Strength 5, toughness 5. How much you get? Three. Those dice confuse me. Three. Minus 1 is 4's. And a fail 1 and a 5 up. Feel no pain. One dies. The dreadnought guy kills one. Him, he can die. Next, twin, last cannon. I have to step over the cap, excuse me. Yeah. Right, twin last cannon at the uh, Lord of Contagion. Hit on threes. Yes, because you moved. One hit. One wound, strength nine, toughness five. Four up and vulnerable save. Easy, right? Yes, easy. He makes it. All right. Now you've got to pump everything from the land raider into my Lord of Contagion. Measure him from any point of the hull, he can see through, there is a window down there, and it's 28 shots. It's 24 from the hurricane bolt, it's 4 from the storm bolter, hitting on 3s. That's 24 hit, strength 4, toughness 5, wounding on 5s though. 8 2 up saves to make, and a fail 1. 2. 2. 2. two 5 up disgustingly resilience. And I make one of them. He's down to three. And now you've got the assault cannon coming in. Twelve shots with the assault cannon. Hit him on threes. And this is strength six versus toughness five. So that was ten hits. There's a wound on threes. And that's... Is that eight, eight wounds? Eight, eight wounds. wounds. Minus one. So this is eight three-up saves I need to make. He's only got three left. I only fail one. Disgustingly resilient. I don't fail any. He's got three wounds I left. Can't use my dice again. <laughs> That's cannons from the dreadnought and the land raider. Just taking one wound off that Lord of Contagion. He's mean. Charges coming up. Uh, he charging the Rhino here with the Terminators, and he rolled a one for the save with a Storm Bolter that hit you in Overwatch, and one was already on a wound, so one of the Terminators died, which was unfortunate. He got tired and fell over. Yeah, and then the Librarian. Charging in, and the plasma pistol didn't do anything to the big bell guy. So I've killed a Terminator, which is nice. And um, there'll be some charges going over here, but let's see if you manage to get in with the uh, librarian first. Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes Gaming, another great YouTube channel. Check out Snake Eyes Gaming. It's, Fail the charge. Wait, 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 wait. How far away is that? That's the librarian on the. Yeah, how thing. far away is it? Like, that's five, five. So you so need a four. four. So I'm going to use a command point. Okay. And you roll a two, so that's a three, so you don't fail him. That's twice you spent a command point for a charge, and twice and twice the dice gods have said no. Say that again? Dice gods say no would be a good name for a channel. It, it would be, I like it. But you'd have to pay me rights, so. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so Dreadnought coming in here. I've still got two of the Blight Launchers. Let's see if one of them hits. Two of them hit. This is strength six. Toughness seven. Five's to wound. Two of them wound and it's minus two save and D3 damage each and he's only got four wounds left. Four five. save. It's a five up save because it's minus two. Is it minus two? Yeah. So you failed one, one and it does D3 damage. Two. Putting the Dreadnought down to two wounds save. Oh yeah, you get two six ups. Okay, so I did take a wound off him though, chipping the paintwork. And then the bog gun. Nothing. So yeah, he's auto in, and he's auto, they're in. Yep, did the storm bolt, it didn't do anything. Right, so is hammer time come in? I assume he's the sergeant. He's the sergeant, okay. he's got the nice shield. Unwieldy, threes to hit, fours to hit. And you get one hit. You need a three to damage it. That's a two. 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 But at the end of that fight phase, you can still consolidate. You've done your pile in, uh, so long as you end up closer to this model, and you can consolidate into them. So they will get to hit you back, but they won't be shooting you next turn. Right, dreadnought, four attacks. Four attacks. Hit on twos. Yep. And that's two hits. Wounding on twos. Two wounds. Two six up saves because it's minus three. And I make one. <laughs> And it does a lot of damage. Three damage. Three damage. Disgustingly resilient. <laughs> I make two of them, but you do kill one. You kill one. Let's take him away. I hope you make three. Do I? Oh yeah, disgustingly resilient is a five up, not a six up. I'm so used to playing Iron Hands chapter tactics. I'll just put that model back again and that dreadnought not kill anything when he assaulted. So uh, you haven't killed a rhino. You haven't killed any plague marines. This rhino's got two wings left. Do you think you might be able to kill this one? Honestly, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thunder hammers. Fours. Uh, that's hey. better. Yay! <laughs> there you go. Threes, threes to damage it. Hey. hey! Can I roll? Can I roll a bunch of sixes? No, you kill it. Does it blow you up? You do kill it. Does it blow up? Indeed. No, it doesn't. It does not blow up. You slaughter that rhino. Then you consolidate into the big. Bell dude, that's the charges done. Now we have the Deathwing Knights trying to hack through these poxwalkers. You need this for the supremacy. Flail dude, threes to hit. Two hits, strength six. Six, twos to wound. Two, Two wounds. wounds, and each does how many damage? Two damage each. Two damage each, and it does spill over, right? Yes, it does. So I need four disgustingly resilience. Because typically you could only kill two models, but instead. You kill three models. I think that leaves you with eight to get through. I think. And I have eight attacks. And eight mm -hmm. attacks. Three's to hit. This ain't gonna cut it. Nah. Two's to wound. And each of these does a lot of damage. There's three damage each. I'm just gonna pick three more up. That leaves me with two guys left. Let's hit them back. Uh, and a miss, because they hit on five. So you will kill through them. You will get through them next turn. And you're on your way to getting supremacy. And you've got this pressure here. And you've got this pressure here. So let's strike back. Um, he will move round. They will move round. First, the normal two normal Plague Marines with the Blight Launchers both miss. Now my Power Fist, which is unwieldy. And he's only got three wounds left. For the Emperor. No, not him. The other guy. For the other guy. One hit. Strength eight. Toughness seven. Wounds, minus three AP, six damage. That's a one. And this does D3 damage, a five or six, and you're dead. No, he's vulnerable, so uh, one six and he survives. And you get two sixes. He's alive with two wounds left. Okay, so this squad piles in. These two can't attack, these guys can. Three normal guys on your Terminators, two hits, fours to wound. Two wounds, two two up save, sir. And you make them both, and then the power fist, fours to hit. Nothing, nothing there. I think that's the end of the assaults. Oh no, the bell guy. Noxious Blightbringer's got three attacks, but his bell does do two damage each. Hitting on threes, they all hit, and it's strength user, so fours to wound. Two wounds, so two two up saves. If you fail any, you kill a guy, because it's two damage each. And there's a one, brilliant. 
That's the end of the turn. No morale tests to make. And you've started defending Objective 2 with your land raider in the centre of the ruined cathedral. This plan over here is not coming together yet to get Objective 1. But that will be an objective. That's an objective. And if when you kill these last two poxwalkers, you'll get D3 points for supremacy. And it's 6 points to 4. Mm. 6 points to 4. It's very, very close. Sorry, six points to two, six points to four once you get that defend one in the middle there and I haven't got anyone fast enough to get there. So it will be six points to four at the end of my turn. So the Deathwing are still a long way from out of this game. Let's go on to turn three for the Death Guard. Here are my objectives. I ditch psychological warfare because it's undoable. I've still got area denial and kill stuff with no prisoners and I've drawn blood and guts. Kill stuff in the assault phase. So I've a chance to get some more points here. So area denial, I'm not going to be able to get area denial because that land raider is sat in the middle of it, but I do need to kill something in the assault phase and get no prisoner. So the Nurglins advance round onto objective one, denying that strategic objective. And we're going to have two Lord of Contagions charging in on a Dark Angels captain. What's the name for a Dark Angels captain? Company Master. Company Master. Um, weren't these guys a little bit dodgy during the Horus Heresy? No, I think no they, that's, that's, that's just rumours and hearsay. I think they norm, normally join, nearly joined our side. What side? Your the, side? The Death Guard side. Death Guard don't have a side, they just... No. No, okay. Right. Okay, no, the Loyalist and the Loyal, the First Legion. The First Legion? Yeah. The Dodgy Legion. <laughs> round here, everything coming around to deal with this unit of Terminators, the Noxious Blightbringer, falling back out of combat. These guys can go charging in. And then we've got a Smite coming up there closest. Now... Need to kill something in the assault phase. If I smite him and kill him, double smite, double malignant playcaster, then because he will die in the psychic phase, then these guys will be free to charge around and ki help kill this Terminator in the in the assault phase. That's the plan. That's that's completely lost the power of narration there. Let's just go on to the turn and see how this how this works out. So psychic. He's doing the thing like, so he's got plus one strength because he's within six inches of him. He's doing the thing which gives him plus one strength, plus one toughness as well. Pretrescent vitality. That fails. Hmm. Okay, I'm not going to re-roll. I've only got two command points left. I want to keep them in my pocket. Next power. Let's smite the Dreadnought. That passes. Would you, do you want to try and deny? No. No. D3 mortal wounds on your Dreadnought. And that's three mortal wounds. You need three six up. Venerable saves. <gasps> You made two of them. He's down to one left. Okay, this one, Miasma of Pestilence on the Bloat Drone. It'll be minus one to hit it, Fetid Bloat Drone. That passes. And then he's going to smite the Venerable Dreadnought, which passes and does D3 mortal wounds. Only got one to get through. How hard can it be? That's three wounds. Can you make three? No, you can't. It's a dead Dreadnought. It blows up on a six. It does not blow up. Part one of the plan worked, which means that your Terminators are now closest to that Herald. So Terminators will... Oh no. Or this Terminator. I'm going to have to measure up. Yes, this Terminator just over nine. These ones just within nine inches. So he'll smite those Terminators. And that's to pass on a five. Do you want to deny that now? Yeah. You haven't tried to deny anything. This will be a plus one to deny because you've got a Psychic Herd. You're within 12. That works. So that stops one of the smites. And then the second smite passes, so that's a six, D3 mortal wounds, one, one mortal wound on a terminator, that's the end of the psychic phase. Right, shooting phase, play drones firing their death sets into the terminators, fours to hit, assault two weapons, that's four hits, this is strength four, and it's a plague weapon, so you get to re-roll everything, that's three wounds on the terminators, three to up saves, and they're alive. He fell back, he can't fire his plasma pistol. These guys are within 18 inch range, rapid firing. Um, six, four bolt guns, there's four bolt guns there. I need another dice. Threes to hit, two hits. Look at that, I rolled six ones, six ones. No wounds, and then the plasma pistol, which I am overcharging. Fair enough. I'm chaotic like that. Mortals. Uh, three well, I just rolled six ones. The chances of rolling another one yeah, are but astronomical. You, but you just said that, so you're going to two. This will definitely hit. <laughs> I rolled another one. <laughs> and I missed with the other shot. Okay, Fetid Bloat Drone, last thing left to fire. 2d6 shots. 11 shots, that's more like it. 
Only strength seven this time, strength to use her, so winning on threes, but it is a plague weapon, so I'm re-rolling ones. Maybe I should have been doing that earlier on. I definitely should have been doing that earlier on. I wonder if I've rolled any ones earlier on. Ooh, anyway, was... five wounds at minus one, so, sorry, ten wounds at minus one, so ten three-up saves. Five wounds to get through, three-up saves coming up. Uh, and that was three fails. Three fails. Three fails. Leaving You're dead. One terminator left. Okay, charge o'clock. Let's see if these guys get in there. Five. They don't get in there. Play drones do get into that last terminator. Over here, that's going to be an auto in. But my Lord of Contagion, Warlord, needs a six. And I get a ten. <laughs> Only one command point left with the Death Guard. Death Guard? Death Wing, so they can't interrupt. So let's start over here. Twos to hit with my Warlord. Everything hits. Strength six, it's strength plus two. And it's a Plague Weapon, so I would get to re-roll that. So all of them on your invulnerable saves, and each does a flat three damage. How many Storm Shields can you make, sir? How many can you, you parry? Do you even Storm Shield? Even still, <gasps> the answer is no. And I'm um, gonna re-roll one of those. Are you last command point? <sighs> Dead. No, but you get six fill no pains. I do. Six fill no pains. He's dead. He's dead. Even before he had to strike, so you definitely won't be getting priority orders received. And he will get to pile in three inches and then consolidate three inches towards the closest enemy thing, which is your land raider. The reason for that is making sure that there's definitely bodies in front of my warlord so he can't get shot at. That was really disappointing for you. It was very. I'm a bit yeah, I'm, I'm upset. very ashamed. Let's, <laughs> let's do this one. My fist hitting your terminator. Fours to hit. Nothing. Five remaining plague marines. Fours. What is going on? And f that's a wound. I did a wound. <laughs> you failed to save anyway. <laughs> he takes a wound. I'll, I'll buy that for a dollar. And then we go over here to this last Terminator. Then on to the bugs. The guys riding them get to strike first. One of them has two attacks. They hit on fours. And they wound on fours. And they re-roll because of plague weapon. So one wound on your Terminator. He's got two wounds left. And he passes. And then the prehensile proboscis of the rotflies attack. And each rotfly has four attacks. So fours to hit. And that's six hits. These are strength four, but each does two damage, and you can re-roll to wound. So only two wounds so far. Four wounds, four two-up saves. If you fail one, that's a dead terminator. And you fail one, that's a dead terminator. And they consolidate forward. Then onto my poxwalkers, hitting on fives. Nothing. You strike back with your dudes. And the Deathwing Knights slaughter the two remaining Poxwalkers with these consolidating towards the closest enemy unit. And that's the end of my turn. And I get two points because I did get a point for no prisoners. And I do get a point for killing something in the assault phase because I killed your Terminator and I killed your Warlord. Which was... Uh, so that's an extra point. That's an extra point. So I get three points. But you get two points for defending that objective in the middle of the Cathedral. So that makes it nine points to four. And then Rob just pointed out one, two... Three objectives. He's got three objectives, so he also gets supremacy in my turn. So you get an extra d3 points. And that's a five. So suddenly, it's nine points to seven. The game is on. Let's go to Deathwing turn four. Deathwing High Command still want them to take ground. Secure objective two and three and defend objective one with priority orders received. Not possible now. His warlord's dead. He'll certainly be ditching that next turn. Here we are after the death wind movement phase. We've rechecked the rules actually. Um, you can't target a character, such as my warlord, unless they're the closest visible enemy unit. And that dreadnought can't see the Nurglings, and it can't see the second in command who shouldn't have piled in and consolidated that way. And there's a blocked wall on this side of him there. He can't see through here. The closest visible enemy unit to that dual last cannon wielding dreadnought is my warlord. Mistakes were made. <laughs> <laughs> the Land Raiders turn round, he could potentially kill the second in command as well. And then over here, oh, and uh, the objectives, was it two and three? Because yeah. that's two, it's right two in the middle. Three, yes. There's three that your warlord, uh, the librarian is on, so you're definitely getting a couple of points this turn as well. And the Deathwing Knights are coming through the ruin, ready to take out the 
playgrounds. So I'm not going to have much left. If this pulls off, I'm just going to have this little bit here. Mind you, you've got very little left as well. Should also mention, we did remember Strike Back with the Terminator. He did kill a Plague Marine at the end of that last turn. Let's go on to the Psychic Phase. Smite. Need a five. And that's a nine. I need a ten to the nine. Might as well do it. Uh, and I deny. No Smite. There's a ten. With that guy there. You got Mind Worm or... Aversion. It, aversion. Oh yeah, aversion. minus one to hit. So they'll be hit on fives. That goes off on a nine. So I need a 10 to deny it with the other guy who's within 24 inches. And I don't deny that one. So minus one for them to hit. So instead yes. of hitting on 4s, they're hitting on 5s. Absolutely. Okay, shooting. Do Deathwing Knights have a shooting attack? They do not, but he has a plasma. Okay. Uh, Overcharge? No. Nope. Copy plasma, two shots? Two shots. Yes. Uh, two hits. Two hits. us. Five or something? Three. One wound. One wound. It's definitely five. Five up and bun. Five up, feel no pain. And they're okay. I like this disgustingly resilient. I don't like it when I go up against it, but uh, <laughs> I'm liking it in the army. Right, last cannons at dawn, huh? Last cannons at dawn. Did he stay still? He stayed still, oh, so no. he's hitting on twos. Twos to hit. Two Both hits. of them hit. Strength nine, toughness five. Freeze. Two wounds. Oh no. Two four ups. Two four ups, winter's dice rolling. And I rolled three dice, but I'd taken them and I failed them both. And this is 2d6 damage. Six. Six. Which is enough to kill him. But he has revoltingly resilient as his warlord trait. So four up. four up. Feel no pain coming up. And I failed four of them. Putting him to two wounds left. Right, that stung. This last turn, the Land Raider was only able to get one wound off the second in command. This turn, can he kill him? Okay, the Hurricane Bolters and Stormbolter did 10 wounds, 10 two up saves. I fell three. Three disgustingly resilient. He's got three wounds left. Oh no, the second in command falls. I think you declare that you're firing everything oh, yeah, at him. You had to anyway. But the second in command is dead. Now, the first in command's got two wounds left and. I think next turn he could be in trouble. Oh, that worked. And that's it for shooting. So now we have some charges coming on. Deathwing Knights, is your librarian getting in there as well? He's not because he's going to hold the objective. Ah, yeah, that makes... But the Knights are going to charge... Rockflies yeah. and Dolora Spellman. Okay. And they're in and no wounds suffered on Overwatch. So the mace and this flail here covering against the bell, dude. Um, hitting on threes. Hitting on threes. And wounding on threes? Uh, strength six. These are all the maces, right? No, these are the flails. Okay, flails. So two at minus three. Two at minus three. Uh, six up then. I failed them both. And it does how much damage each? Two damage each. So four. Five up. Disgustingly resilient. I make one. How many wounds do they have? Noxious Blightbringers have four wounds. He's got one left. And now we've got three maces coming into the bloke rounds. Three is to hit. Five hits. Five hits. Strength, eight. six, eight. Okay, three, three is to wound. Toughness, five. Only one wound. Minus two. Five up and bun. And how much damage? Three. Uh, just a flat three. Just a flat three. Okay, disgustingly resilient. Um, make one of them. And drones of four wounds each, so surviving that combat there. Then we've got the Thunder Hammer from the Sergeant hitting on fours because it's unwieldy. And that's two hits and wounding on threes because I'm toughness five. Two wounds, two six up saves. I make one of them and it does three damage. So uh, three disgustingly resilience. No, one more Marine dies. Now I'm going to strike you back. Let's do the three remaining guys on you. Fours to hit. And fours to wound, re-rolling ones because of the plague knife. Two wounds, two two up saves. Power fist, one hit, one wound. Fail. I fail the save. This does D three damage. Dead Terminator. Plague Marines consolidate this way, and then over here we did the attacks, and these guys were hitting on fives, smashing it into the Deathwing Knights, and did no damage whatsoever. And so at the end of that combat, you've got objective one and objective two, so it's nine points to nine. Nine points to nine. As we go to Death Guard, turn four.
nine points to nine, and here are my orders. Secure two, which the Land Raider is sat on. Defend four, which I am sat on. Big Game Hunter, kill the Land Raider. Okay, over here I advance my Warlord back in, rolled a good six, he's tucked behind cover, no more Laz Cannons to the face, and a Nurgling screen in front of him. And now, <coughs> I need, he's not a coward, it's tactical. And now I need to get this objective, because you've got secure objective two, I've got secure objective two, so if I don't kill the Land Raider, you're gonna get a point off me. And defend four, the other unit of Nurglings has been sat on all game, so we'll get two points at the end of your turn. So kill the Land Raider, I've got a couple of smites, and there's two Blight Launchers still in that squad, two Blight Launchers still in that squad, they do D3 damage each, and a Power Fist and a Power Fist. That's all I've got. And then around here, they're locked up. I'm not pulling the, those drones out of combat with those Deathwing Knights, because I think, I think I'll be okay. I think. And the last Fetter Blight Drone has jumped up and is over here. They can advance and still fire their guns, because they're assault weapons. They're very good. I like them. I'm going to get me more of them. Right, Psychic Phase, Smite, because I know there's one chap in there, Deathwing Knight, who's still got one wound left. So let's Smite him. And that's Snake Eyes. <laughs> let's spend a command point. I've got two left now, one. So I failed Smite, but at least I don't blow the brain out of my Nurgling Herald. And over here, I should mention that the other Herald is there within six inches to get his strength up. And now I need to cast that spell which gets his strength and toughness up by one. And it's a warp charge six, and that's a pass. That's a nine. And then he will smite the Land Raider. Four and a four is eight. This is D3 mortal wounds on the Land Raider. Three. Starts with 16, 13 to go. And then the other one. Miasma of Pestilence only works on Death Guard units, and the Bloat Drones are not miasma They're not Pestilence things. So I'll do it on this squad here, which passes, and then he will smite, which passes. Another D3 mortal what wounds. That passed on a nine, just yeah. like the other smite. You, you need a cast. ten. You no, I haven't got any other cast. Okay. You need a ten to block this? No. No. So D3 mortal wounds. That's one not more. Putting it down to twelve. Now we're on to the shooting phase, and we've got the blight launchers. Let's fire in. They all hit. Strength six. I need fives to wound because Land Raiders are toughness eight. One wound at minus two, which you pass. And then the and I might as well fire the bolt gun from the other squad. Hits. I need sixes. Does a one wound. You get a two up save on Land Raider. Yep. That worked. Okay. So the second squad firing in. Light launchers. Threes to hit. And fives to wound, two wounds, two four up saves because it's minus two. <sighs> I don't like those mark for death dice. I don't even want to tell what the packs to you. I'm beginning to realise why Lawrence rolls so well all the time. Yeah. Uh, over here, then in that squad, there's two bolt guns um, firing in at him as well. So threes to hit, and sixes to wound. Two more wounds on the Land Raider, two two up saves, which you make, and then the two malignant play casters with their pistols, threes, sixes, one more wound, uh, one more save. Then this thing, and I did get its putrescent, it's whatever it is, the one that's got the plus one strength. So two D6 auto hits with the assault gun with a flamer, plow, they're called play belchers. Plague Belchers. You know there's a lot of Death Guard people at home saying that Winters is just butchering this army. <laughs> but anyway, it's strength eight, so it's fours to wound. And I did three wounds. Minus. Uh, minus one with the Plague Belcher Spitters. Plague Spitter, uh, that's the one. How the wound? Uh, how many's got left? Ten. Eleven. That's one damage? Yeah. Yeah, and that's the end of that. That's the end of my shooting phase. Stormbot are firing in, doing nothing. They can't fire at the Librarian because the Deathwing Knights are the closest enemy unit. So now we're on to the Assault phase. Okay, so Charge phase. I'm going to charge the Land Raid. It's got a ridiculous number of attacks, and it's minus two because I'd be going through a crater. But they're troops, and I've got Secure Objective 2, so if for some miracle I managed to get in there, I could actually steal that objective from you. So you've got a lot of overwatch to do. 24 shots with the Hurricane Bolt. There's 12 shots with the 
can, that's 36. Four shots with a storm bolter, that's 40 shots of overwatch to weather. One die to overwatch, I don't even want to measure to see how far this is. Let's just roll. Seven. Now I need to get within three inches of that, so that's five. Oh yeah, it's on. Hey, let's do the other squad now. What's the worst that could happen? They don't get in. Okay, these guys, I put them there because uh, when I pile in, I want to pile in some closer to the enemy unit. So I'm going to pile in that way. See, so you need to kill both in close combat if I fail to kill you. But let's face it, I'm going to fail to kill you. My Herald is not going to pile in there. Let's get back to here. Plague Marine on Land Raider. Misses. And then the Power Fists. Miss. Three ones. It's not funny. I'm going to have to do this on camera now. I thought they'd be locked up forever, but okay. So you just killed the Plague thing, and I failed all my invulnerable saves on them. And you're telling me it does a flat three damage each, these Maces. Flat three Mesa beauty. So I've got 15 <laughs> disgusting <laughs> Lebrasilians to make. Uh, oh no, oh no, one was on two wounds, that's another one dead. That's, you killed them all! You killed all the plague The Emperor drones. finds a way. I didn't start filming that because you've been doing... Because it was tucked up with the Poxwalkers for a couple of turns so they weren't going to town. And then the first turn they bounced off those plague drones so I thought, oh they'll be tucked up there for a while now, I won't need to start filming. But BOOM! Your dice rolled hot, or rather I failed every single one of my invulnerable saves and you just cut through them. And now you've consolidated into the Herald, so he needs to strike back. He hits on twos with three attacks, they will hit, and he is strength five, so three is to wound, and you re-roll a wound. So that is three wounds. AP minus. Eight, no AP minus, you just get your three top saves. And one takes a wound, so so far I've only killed one of them. Grinding you down, grinding you down. Now your land raider gets to strike back. My plague marines, ple please don't kill them. I need to take that objective. Six is to hit. Nothing. Nothing. And that's the end of your turn four. My turn four. So I'm beginning to secure this one. Defend objective four, right? Yeah. Um, I haven't got a big game hunter yet, but I have nabbed that objective off of you. The Deathwing have been defending this cathedral all game, but finally... Some of the Death Guard are in there and they mean to take it from them. They mean to despoil this place. Here are the Dark Angel's objectives. Scour the skies. Kill the drone, basically. Assassinate killer character. He's already locked up in combat with one of those heralds. That should be easy. And overwhelming firepower. Just blow something off the battle grid. Here we are in turn five for the Deathwing last ditch stuff. Scour the skies, kill that bloke drone so that Venerable Dreadnought coming into the cathedral after the Land Raider fell back out of combat so the Land Raider will not be able to shoot this turn. He will be attracting a lot of firepower and psychic stuff from the Librarian who's moved off of Objective 3. Meanwhile, the Herald of Nurgle is surrounded and about to get battered. Okay, Smite coming up. And that's an 11. That's an 11. This will do D6 damage. I need a 12 to deny this. Just when you needed to pull it out of the bag. Roll a 1 now, please. <laughs> <laughs> that's a 3. That's not too bad. You do 3 damage, but I do have Disgustingly Resilient because it's Death Guard. And I fail all of them. That's 7 wounds done. You're partly on your way there to scale the skies. Right. Mind Worm. Mind Worm, yeah. That's uh, a fail. fail. That's a fail. Okay. Yeah. okay. So you're overcharging your plasma? Because we're now in the shooting phase. It's turn five. What else you got to lose? Um, it's combi plasma. I'm going to shoot this guy first. Ah, the twin. Uh, so we're going to do the heavy flamer of these two dudes. Okay, heavy so flamer. D6. That's two. Yeah. And Four's to win. Four's. No. Nope. And then three to hit with the twin last cannon. Yep. <laughs> One hit. Three's to wound. No wound. You're not getting scared of the skies. You've I'm used not get, all not, your not command points. Shooting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Actually, uh, yeah, you could charge. So he's just going to do regular plasma in this case. Regular plasma through the window uh, misses, and I misses. Think he's through, yeah. yeah. Right. Is that the shooting phase over? That's the shooting phase over. Okay. So scout the skies and overwhelming firepower won't happen, but maybe assassinate? Are we going into the charge phase now? We are going into the charge phase. Scour the skies can still happen. How? How? I'm going to punch it out of the sky. 
Uh, okay, so you're charging? Charging with the dreadnought. Overwatch. Almost 11 <laughs> hits. 11 hits on strength 8 right now, I'm sorry. Uh, so it's 3s. Uh, actually, I only got 5 wounds, I take it back. I'm not too sorry. There's a 5 uh, at minus 1. You got a 1 there though, you said it was a plague weapon. Did I? Oh yeah, it is. There's a 1, thanks. There you go, 6. 6 at minus 1, so 6 4 up saves. And you don't make any of them. I think it's a two. Oh yeah, two. It's two. Sorry, I'm okay. six ups. Yes, and then six ups. It's late, I'm tired. Three wounds. Three wounds. Three wounds, Three wounds. he's Three. got five left. How long was the charge? Did you measure it? I need seven inches. It's just under eight inches away. Okay. <gasps> librarian's got a charge, right? Yeah, the librarian could do it. Oh, one. That's eight. Oh, that's enough. That's eight. Uh, six, seven. These are twos to wound. Rerolling ones because are they all wound at minus one, so that's eight wounds on your living. Uh, he's in many, terminator armor. He's wounds, in terminator armor. How many wounds does a librarian have? Three. That's not true. <laughs> in <laughs> terminator armor, he's got five, so he's got he's got one wound left. Okay. So now you can charge. And he makes it. He makes it. He makes it good. Can he make? Can he kill it? He got a force weapon, I guess. Yeah, he can do D three each turn. He could. Oh, he's, gone, over. he's gone down. Fell over. Okay, he's good. Librarian, three attacks, hitting on threes. Two hits. He's got a four stave, so he's strength six. I'm toughness eight right now. No wounds. And now you want to go for assassinate. Yeah, because I just feel like I'm flailing. <laughs> <laughs> that's just really bad. I don't know why I laughed. Three hits. Because it's so bad, that's why. Toughness. 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 He's toughness, five. Toughness. He's toughness oh, five. Think. One wound. One wound at minus uh, two. Five up minus three. Minus five up one. How many damage? Two. Two damage. Disgustingly resilient. Takes a wound. He's got okay. seven left. That's. Does uh, it? No, it's a lie. Okay. <laughs> All hit with the okay, thing. Yeah, with yeah, the yeah, they, All right, they hit on threes. A uh, wound on threes. So that is four at minus two. Four at minus two. I don't have any armor. I just have a demonic save, and I make three of them. <laughs> I fail one. How much three, damage does three. that do? Three disgustingly resilience, and he makes one of them. So he's taken three wounds in total. I think he's got one left. Yep, the herald has got one wound left. He smacked the death wing knights. Didn't do anything, and now we're on to my fettered bloat drone that has three attacks because he's at full health. He's lost two wounds. He's lost two wounds or something like that. Uh, he's got a weapon skill four and he's got three attacks. So uh, force to hit. That's one hit. And this um, plague probe is strength eight. Well, he's strength eight right now. So two's to wound. And it's minus two AP and does D3 damage. And the librarian's got one wound left. Four up save. Four up. And he makes hey. it. Yeah, he's still alive. But minus two at D3 with his little plague probe. probe. He's quite nasty. So that was last ditch stuff on the Deathwing there, failing to complete any of their objectives. And it's 10 points to 9, and the Nurglings have defended this for two turns, making it 12 points to 9. So the Death Guard are three points in the lead as we go on to Death Guard, turn 5. Here are the orders for the Death Guard. Assassinate, Witch Hunter, and Big Game Hunter. Basically kill that Librarian, kill the Land Raider. Jobs are good. The death count has been so high, the movement phase was very quickly. The Nurglings can charge the Land Raider if they need to. But Operation Kill the Land Raider is still in effect. The other Herald that was here has ran over to there to make sure I am closest to the Land Raider for a smite. And then one of these can smite and kill the Librarian. And then be closest to the Land Raider for a smite with the other guy. Kill the Land Raider, kill the Librarian, assassinate and witch hunt right there. But before we begin, in the psychic phase, over here, I'm going to do fleshy abundance on my herald, which fails. So, back over here, smite on your librarian, which passes on a 9. You need a 9 to deny, because you have got a psychic hood, and it's plus 1. Normally you need to beat it, but the it's emperor, plus 1. The emperor protects. Does he? Let's find out. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No. And your librarian's got one wound left. Psych, psych, smite does a minimum D3. He is dead. Let's assassinate. He's just That's which for the fjords. Yes. And now he's going to do the plus one strength and toughness on the plague drone, which passes on 11. 
Second guy doing miasma or pestilence on the plague drone. So it would be minus one to hit it because he's priority number one. And that's a perils. He's got one. I've got one command point left. Yep, let's spend it. Yep, still passes, no perils. And he's minus one to hit, plus one strength. And then his second power, smite on the land raider. Passes on a 10, d3 wounds. One wound on the land raider. And then the herald that's just inside here. Passes on a five and does another wound with a smite. That's the end of the psychic phase. Shooting phase, fetid bloat drone, 12 shots. These are auto hits, he's up to strength eight now, plus one for the herald because he's a demon of Nurgle and plus one for the psychic power, strength eight, toughness eight. This is where I with it. Well, no, not so much. Um, so that's eight wounds to save at minus one, so eight three ups. And fail two there, taking two more. He's down to seven left. And his second bracket. So, bloat launcher number one. Hits, I need fives. Two wounds at minus two. So two four ups. And you make one, this does D3. That's three more wounds, putting him down to four. And the bolt gun hits once. Doesn't wound. And then the two bloat, bloat launchers from this squad. Three hits, fives to wound. Two wounds, two four up saves, sir. He failed them both. He's got four wounds left, and this does D3 damage. Dead Land Raider. Does it blow up? No. no, it does not, and that's Assassinate. That's Big Game Hunter. That is Witch Hunter. And that is also the end of my shooting phase because I've got no more guns. They can't see through that wall to hit the Dreadnought, and I'm certainly not going to charge him. He can charge me. Uh, that's the end of my turn five, except for the Herald over here. And the Herald of Erdnurgle got slaughtered by the Deathwing Knights with ease, who consolidate in towards the centre of the Cathedral one more time. But I do get three points that turn, put it from 15 points to nine. I'm six points in the lead. And then Rob just rolled a dice over here. He rolled a one. It's over. This is the way the world ends. Final score, 15 points to 9. I'm very pleased with that result. Most importantly, because it's the first showing for my Death Guard war band called The End of All Things. They came here, and I guess there was just too many bodies to get through. There's a Dreadnought left. There's the Death Wing left over there. Do you have anything left on the table? No, not really. And I was, I was very worried at the start, because I don't have a lot of killy stuff. Um, I've just got these fetid bloat drones and bolt guns and plasmas. Those blight launchers are mean. Gonna get me some more blight launchers, I think. Just chipping away and chipping away and chipping away. Nurglin's always good. And two of these guys, two of the Lord of the Contagions taking out your guy. It was good. It's good. I don't know what to say. It's the first time I've played with this kind of army. And I thought I'd get smashed. I didn't get smashed. What do you think? What don't you say? Just bodies on the table. It's just a seething mass of postulant creatures coming towards you and the five ups and the five ups and is it frustrating playing against something that gets a save and then a save um not really because i feel like when you use the right tools for the job yeah and you know you can just choose i mean i think the deathwing knights i should have brought them down a turn earlier they just chewed through but it's just i mean you had such a good synergy going on particularly with this chap getting up to strength eight, wounding yeah. on twos, and yeah. because you're not rolling to hit, and yeah. you just, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not painting any more for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know um, what, when I planned the army, I didn't, I didn't know that, obviously, I bought some stuff and sent it through to you, like the Nurgle contingent, before the Death Guard even dropped, so I didn't know that, that's a happy coincidence there, a bit of serendipity. And because your army does move very slowly, it wasn't so much a problem, I mean, if I was playing a gunline army, that would be a bigger problem because yeah. I wasn't coming towards you, but because they can move 10 inches mm. and they can fall out of combat and still auto hit. That's true. They're yeah. just so... It is a slow army though. Sticking together and moving up is is going to be a problem. I need some Terminators that can deep strike in. When are the Terminators? I haven't even given you the Terminators. Yeah, I've got some Death Shroud. They're pretty, yeah. they're pretty. They are pretty. Not as pretty as their dad though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and an awesome Death Wing army. Yes. They're Dark Angels, right? They're traitors. They're Dark Angels. I heard about they're, them. They're, and they're, they'll get their codex soon enough. Very soon. 
and uh, I think they'll. Uh, I think they've got. Uh, they've got teeth. Yes, I like. I'm looking forward to the new codex. I hope it's got some character to it, some flavour to it. Um, I hope there's the Dreadwing in there. I hope there's the Dreadwing and the Firewing, uh, as well as just the Raven Guard and the uh, Deathwing as well. There are other wings that uh, us narrative junkies know about. I'm really looking forward to seeing that book. Uh, lion or not lion? Lion. Yeah. Definitely the lion. I'm, I'm saying no lion. Oh no, uh, I don't necessarily think there'll be a lion, but there should be a lion, and he would kick Robo's ass. No, he wouldn't. Yes, he would. He's the better warrior. He's not I, a, ve I, I, he's the, a the, very the naughty lion, boy. The lion, yeah, he's a naughty boy, but he's a naughty boy who can handle a sword. And he can. He's fought Kurza, he knocked out Lehman Russ, and if you don't, if you... Yeah, yeah I think the only person that he lost to was, actually, he, he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Lehman Russ, but Lehman Russ was joking and laughing all the way through it. But yeah, I think he beat everyone the lion in close Pretty combat. Much, yeah. He is a duelist. But he's got a hell of an ego. He has got one hell of an ego, <laughs> just, yeah, and what he did on McCrag during Imperium Secundus. Plus he's skipped leg day for 10,000 years. He might be a bit scrawny. I, I don't think he's in stasis. I don't think he's in stasis. We shall see. We shall see. Anyway, um, thank you everyone for watching that. Remember the battle map and the ruins come from gamemap.eu. I want to thank all my patrons for supporting me. If you'd like to support me and uh, help me make more of these Battle reports, then go to www.patreon.com forward slash winters SEO and donate. Thank you very much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that game. Thank you to all subscribers and non subscribers for watching. Happy Wargaming.